Farouk. Len always available. Len goes past Ajit. Narrow angle, Len, what a finish that is. Zips past his man. And then the shot. Zips past the goalkeeper. And Jamshedpur comfortable at 2 0 against Bengaluru. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Where did that come from? He's been threatening, hasn't he? And there are times that you look at him and you get frustrated with him because some of the simple things he doesn't do well. The difficult things are the things that he does well. And it just gets caught here because Len moves the ball so quickly and that little jink. And then goes the far side of goal. Giving Maya absolutely no chance. Right in that bottom corner. Len just got his angles spot on there. And before you know it, can Shepo double their advantage? Well, a drop of the shoulder right out of the coaching manual. And more of that, please, Len. And Eric Patalu. And in slides. Ricky Burst that allows Cabra to get away. And then there it is! Century! 100 goals for Bengaluru. And he bleeds for country and club, whatever shade of blue. Or it may be sea green on the night. But it is 3 2 and a landmark goal for a landmark player. What did I tell you? This game was not over when Frandes put that one in. This is a fantastic ball again from Cabra. Any kids watching out there, look at the shape on the ball. Look at the way he approached the ball and delivered. And Sunil gets ahead of Eze and just guides it into that far corner for his personal milestone of 100 goals for Bengaluru FC. It's Cabra's third assist to Sunil Chetri this season. 40 goals in the Hero ISL now for him. Just looking for that slide rule ball. Great passing and Suhair! The Hero ISL's red hot chili peppers. Suhair on the vocals. Deshaun Brown on the riff and Colin Jamil on the lyrics. And they are stepping up from the road to the sea. What were we saying about water breaks? Just before or just after? Lapses of concentration. Kamara plays that ball through. It's poor, poor defending from not just one, but two defenders. There, the first one, Kone gets it wrong. Sandeep doesn't attack the ball. So hi there. I thought he got it all wrong, but he gets fortunate and gets lucky. There's the first one, there's the second one. But that's a cool, calm finish from Sahar, who yet again hits the back of the net, and you can see what it means to Kali Jamil. Too many bodies in the way, though. Here he is again, Diego Maurizio. Inman. Paul. Struck it. Oh, oh, oh. into the bottom corner! And a second Indian goal scorer for Adisha. Well, Suhana got off the mark in the first half, but Paul has measured that into the bottom corner. He's outwitted Sabrata in goal, and SC East Bengal find themselves pegged back once again. It's a fighting, spirited start to the second half of Adisha. It's 2 2. The point I was going to say, the let Maurizio turn from the throw in. And his you Paul has used the body of the player that's causing him down and he just opens up the technique's fantastic He just plays it with the inside of his right foot and bends it in the bottom corner The goalkeeper's got no chance, but he's used Fox's body to bend that ball around the goalkeeper. What a great equaliser, 2-2 Well, Steven Dyer's delighted It's only a fifth appearance of the season for Paul Pilkington puts a Chandra outside, he might go on his own here, Pilkington, vicious shot into the bottom corner, and Anthony Pilkington has a third goal of the season, and it's a trademark finish, and more of those this season than SC East Bengal maybe would have been higher up the table, but he is certainly finishing on a high. It was past Ravi Kumar before he could blink, 
and SC East Bengal have taken the lead. You have to take credit to, to Robbie Fowler because he's the one that's playing in this position. He's playing in number 10 or number 9 role. But every time he gets into a situation like that, he looks like he wants to have a go at the, the last man and, and just have a shot. And he's played the right technique there. It's probably the right height for the goalkeeper. He's got to do better there, but right foot into the bottom far corner. Can't ask for any more than that. And this sets the game up very nicely, 23 minutes in. Well, he scored the opening goal when these two sides met earlier in the season in a 3-1 win. Another good-looking ball in. Did it right? No real power in the shot. Push out is the shout. Here comes Paul looking for his second. Oh, it's gone into the bottom corner. And Sabrata was rooted to the spot. Now, whether that's taken a deflection, but Paul has his second of the match. And Adisha are hitting form when it's too late, but they're finishing on a high. It's 4 3. I'm not sure this has hit anybody. I just think Vinit Rai has a shot to start off with, and it deflects straight back to, to Paul. There's the first shot blocked. Here's the second one. No, it just goes through bodies and the goalkeeper's got no chance. He's unsighted by the first one, unsighted by the second one. There's the first one, there's the second one, and it just creeps in the bottom corner. Goalkeeper's got to do better for me. Well, wow, Paul with his second of the match. And what a turnaround, having been beaten 6-1 here by Mumbai City FC last time out. Adichie now lead SC East Bengal, Bengal by four goals to three. He's given the free kick, can't do any more. Holloway. Good strength on the ball, Holloway! Oh, he finally finds the net! Aaron Amani Holloway with this stunning goal, the ball never left the ground. It's good enough the inside of the post. And players getting on the mark in the final game of the season. It must be so frustrating, you wonder what would have happened earlier if they got off the mark, but... Holloway finally has a goal for his efforts and we're back to 3-3. Look at the relief on this lad's face, he's had to battle his way through, he's battled his way through two players and he's struck a ball meanly, he's struck it with a little bit of aggression as if to say, I'm here, I've arrived a little bit too late and it's gone inside the post and he's got that little bit of luck that he deserved because of the effort. Well done Aaron Holloway for sticking at it. Well, we thought it might be an open game tonight. Diego Maurizio, oh, oh, oh. that's completely outfoxed the SC East Bengal defence. The wall just looks at each other in total amusement, and they've been undone by a bit of Diego Maurizio magic. Goal number 12 this season, Sopras has beaten for a sixth time, and the Dishes fans are in dreamland, it's 6-3. Who'll be an expert eh? I've got to get it up and over the wall, you can't go for power. What does he do? He puts it round the wall, down the side of the wall, it goes under it. Wow, one man in the wall jumps and Diego Mitch Maurizio finds it. Whether he's played that deliberately or not, I don't know, but you can only ask him. One man jumps and underneath it goes. Well, Stephen Dias and his coaching staff can hardly believe what they're seeing at the moment. Smile as wide as you like from Diego Maurizio. The days ago, that's the highest aggregate. We had a three or four games with six goals prior to that. One more would be the highest aggregate of the season. Here's Diego Maurizio, nice little chip for Jerry. Oh, what a finish! And Jerry gets his second of the match as well. And Adisha just cannot stop scoring. Quite an incredible performance. Robbie Fowler's picture tells the story. But a lovely little setter from Diego Maurizio, and just minutes after Paul got his second of the game, Jerry's got his second as well, and Adisha now have a two-goal cushion. That was the best one so far, a little one-two, Maurizio with Brad Inman, who plays a lovely reverse heel pass, and then a flick over the last man, and I tell you what, this is controlled. Jerry just steadies himself and follows it right in the top corner. Now we've got five goals by Indian players. That's unbelievable. 3-2 down in half-time, 5-3 up, 67 minutes on the clock. Another shot corner. This time Machado creates room to send it in. It's over Fox who can recover. Apuya's waiting. Apuya's stepping past the first challenge. 
goes for a shot. Oh, wow. oh, yeah. Questions being asked about the youngsters today, Imran and this man, Apuya. Have they got enough about them mentally to be strong enough to play in a game like this? Look at this, he slips the challenge, there's nothing on. And oh my word, that has gone like a rocket off his foot. He gets the yard, they don't close the space. And bang, there you go. Albino, no chance in goal and a stunning contender for goal of the season from the youngster Apuya. What a strike that was. Well done.